Hello and welcome, Leo, to your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And as usual, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, did you know that I am or have actually <clears throat> collaborated with a good friend of mine on a 38 Spirit Animal Guide Oracle card deck called Fauna. And we have a Kickstarter campaign now on that only runs until the end of September. So if you want to help us turning this um, marvelous project into reality, uh, follow the link in the description. And I'll also put a little thingy pop up. Yeah, somewhere here. <laughs> um, can never quite tell how this works. Anyway, so it would be highly and uh, much appreciated. In any case, Leos, this is September 2022. September is the ninth month. Nine is the number of completion. So let's see if this is going to be reflected in the reading. And what we do here is we will actually sort of loosely divide the reading into areas so it is easier to actually understand it and you... um you also sort of get more out of it. Anyway, what we're doing is we're looking at the overall energy for the sign of Leo for the month of September 2022 before we then go into your emotional core. Now, the emotional core is about what can go, if that makes sense, um, old trauma, old pain, or maybe there's love coming in. We'll find out in due course. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September for your very sign, Leo. With that said, right, with that in mind, let's have a look what we got for the overall energy for Leo. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> overall energy is, is simple. You have the balance card. Right? Self-explanatory. <clears throat> so what I'm getting here is, is, is quite simple. This is the month of completion. So what the guides are saying is make sure you're not rushing anything, right? Um, even if there are deadlines, they're just deadlines. It does not mean you have to arrive dead uh, when you get over the line. The point I'm trying to make is, what I'm getting is, yes, you have to, you have to possibly make sure you finish what you started. I'm getting this just as an overall energy as well because of the number nine in it all, but because you have balance. Nothing works when you're stressed. So your job, Leos, is to understand that your namesake, the lion, the depiction of your very sign, is a male lion. And the male lion's job, for the most part, is to walk his perimeter. So make sure that all areas of your life are safe and that there's a balance and a harmony in everything. Really, really important, Leos. What I'm getting is, energetically speaking, is this feeling of you're overworked. I'm getting this feeling of it's all too much already. And while time pressures on, pressures on and uh, ninth is the number of completion, get the totally. So there's a bit of a, of a pushy energy in September for your sign. Um, but your job is, first and foremost, to understand that you have to create balance um, also for you to function in all areas that uh, this entails. Okay, so let's have a look at your um, emotional core. Let's see what's coming on. This may look really weird uh, today, but I'm trying out uh, new angles, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> and also, <coughs> I'm recording this on, on, a, on a 30, 40 degree outside sort of day um, so I thought before I actually go to the woods in the into the shade and hide a little I thought I'm going to record um, at least um, a video quickly and you and you Leo are it anyway with regards to your emotional core you have telepathy telepathy I don't know if you can see this here okay telepathy really means silent language so when it comes to how you truly feel when it comes to what can go the universe is asking you to have a conversation first and foremost with yourself and then observe what you see 
do I have to say something here? Right? Is this still working for me? Is this what I really want? So you have have to have all these conversations. But because telepathy is is mentioned, which means it is your perception, you get things even when people don't explain themselves um, or explain anything. And so therefore, Leos, when it comes to whether or not you invite love into your life, or maybe it is time to let stuff go, it is all about understanding it to, yet that your intuition already has provided the answer. I know it sounds very cliche when people say like, you know, the answer lies within, but it is the truth. The answer does, or the answers do lie within. The point the guides are making is, this is not, and energetically speaking, I don't think that, that September is a very surprising month for the most part, because you know where you're going, right? You're quite observant anyway, as a sign. And so the guides are saying is, you know, trust your intuition <coughs> and understand that what you pick up <coughs> and what you pick up on um, makes a lot of sense. So trust your intuition at all times. But because this is number, the, the, the month of the number nine, month of completion, number of completion, don't drag things out that you already know aren't working any longer. Do yourself that favor even if it is painful or should it be painful to make these having to make decisions this is the month to do it in okay so lastly we're looking at the um opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of may oh so we're talking about in the months of september 2022 here we go let's have a look at the overall energy for that month and i'm getting more than one yay so you have fun and enlightenment uh, fun and enlightenment. If you're wondering what cards I'm using, these are called uh, the Atlantis cards from Diana Cooper. Um, I cannot remember when I purchased them or anything. I just know I have them. And they're not part of the decks I normally use, but I was drawn to them um, to use them here in your reading, Leos. Um, in any case, so you have enlightenment and fun. Actually, it is. it comes in reverse. We have fun and enlightenment. The point the guides are making is, remember when you have a childlike energy, you are more open, you have less inhibitions, and because you're more open by, na by nature, you see what is for you coming. Which Because it is about opportunities. Don't chase something um, just because you think it sounds right, really reflect on, on whether or not any opportunities that, that you have been offered, if they actually make sense. The fun part that I'm getting, and also there's a depiction of children here. So it reminds me of the fact that we all have an inner child, um, and um, it is important uh, to, to connect to that inner child, if that makes sense. And while that purity that you then feel can make you feel vulnerable, right? There's still the adult you that can help that inner child along the way. The point is, when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to what's next for me, right? And opportunities, yes, for the most part, they will be about, for, uh, about what sustains you financially, but opportunities are also about whatever you just let go in your emotional core. Maybe there are opportunities um, for new beginnings, right? So I'm getting something rather specific, so I, this is a general reading, so obviously it doesn't resonate with all of you, and I get that totally, I still hope it does. But I'm getting this, um, and this is not super specific, but what I'm getting is, when it comes to opportunities, they showed me, for Leo, um, like like a like a van, like a like car, caravan, car, 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 well, I don't know what they call it, um, one of those van life things that you see on YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, that's what I'm seeing for you. So the point is, if you wanted to look at opportunities, maybe being more mobile and maybe being somewhere where you can actually stay the night and then explore, is not a bad idea. So obviously the van itself is symbolism. The point is, don't think that the location you're in is everything, right? If you ever felt, okay, I have spent a lot of money on that, on that, on that, um, on that on that house, on that flat, right? and I really like it here. But 
should the energy in the place you're in be stagnant, then all that good stuff that you worked hard for will not fulfill you. The point I'm getting here is, is to be, again, childlike, but to at least be open to maybe having to travel a little further, if that makes sense, for you to do stuff. Okay, so that's all I got. Like I always say, I only work here. Whatever the guides say, I will say. Meet you means the guy in the middle. That's ultimately what we all are. I hope you um, it resonated. I hope you know you you enjoy these videos. If you do, please 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 like, subscribe, and first and foremost share, because that allows us to help. Uh, that allows us to grow the channel. Can't can't talk. I think it's time for me to get into the woods. Uh, see the only the only solution or the only the only um thing i have to decide to, on today is whether or not to take the drum uh, i think it's going to be the drum shouldn't it yeah if i go to the woods um also it's, it's 27 degrees outside it's going up to 34 so there might not be that many people so i can actually drum my head off and be really with spirit so i'm looking forward to this right <laughs> um yeah and i'll see you all very soon Bye bye